trust your crypto assets to centralized exchanges that actively sell your private information and front run your trades? Would you like to buy and sell your assets without any middlemen, intermediaries, or robots? Do you like paying slippage? fees, and having the price go up as bots steal from you on low-liquidity decentralized exchanges? The solution is NodeMarket.io set your guaranteed buy or sell price. No middlemen, no slippage, no bots, ever. Buy or sell 1, 10, or even 10 million tokens, and you never have to worry. OTC trades are between you and the seller or buyer, guaranteed by audited smart contracts, and no human middlemen. NodeMarket.io I don't know what that means. Buenas noches. Same thing then. Those are the same words to me. The same words. Buenos rancheros. Okay. I agree. 100%. Man. Has anybody here been uh, or you have already watched Fallout, the series? We watched uh, like the first 40 minutes or so. That, That's it. That's it? What do you mean, that's it? You guys, That's you it. That's all we watched. It? You got that's scared off it? <laughs> scared me. There was a lot of shooting. You guys broke weak? <laughs> Did you watch the whole thing? Is it any good? No, not the whole thing. It is good. It's 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 a cool oh. series, and it's just visually really cool. And it's funny because hmm. pretty much all takes place in Los Angeles. So if yeah, you live yeah. in LA, you're, and they're like, oh, we're going across. We're going to Philly, which is just like – Two miles away from where they started in Santa Monica. Huh. But like everything is in LA, the whole like so far. And then season two, I believe, goes to Las Vegas. It's very exciting. Oh, cool. Cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Wait, you finished um, the whole thing, the whole series, right? I haven't finished it. I have two oh, okay. Okay. No, I have okay. two episodes left. Okay. Well, and a then lot of people I, are talking about it. Yep. Yeah. And then I waited for uh Shogun to get the last two in a row so I can watch like a film's worth of, I like doing two episodes at a time because it's like you watch a movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it's all, then it's worth sitting down and getting some popcorn. Well, and I won't turn the popcorn machine on for an episode, but I will for a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, I'm <laughs> sitting down for a movie. <clears throat> all right. Um, hello to everyone. Brandon, um, as we kind of knock this, do you want to uh, do any house cleaning we have? Let's um, just do one little piece. Well, I got um, one email that I'll just get real quick. Yes, the, the 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 five NFT acting as your renewal. So if you get five of the node market NFTs, if you want that to be your renewal for a year of digital investor, yes, that's still going. So, but let us know when you do that. If, don't mm. if you buy, <clears throat> if you get your five NFTs in an, in an obscure wallet that we don't know about, we do, we don't we don't just know. Like unless you make an it's uh, Bob's wallet for D D. Di renewal dot e. <laughs> if, if, if it's not that, we we don't know, Bob. We Which don't know. there's only like I track it pretty well, and there has been two people. I'm like, dude, I don't know who you are. <laughs> like I've never seen your wallet before. Typically, like if they've purchased um, no licenses or something, I can go cross check it against their order and like see their wallets and stuff. I have a pretty big database, but like uh, the it's hard sometimes. Like the best so I just, can, but just let just us know out. all you, all you have to out. do is just let just let us know all yeah, right yeah, brandon preach this um so this is uh my wallet um this is uh cool here so i had somebody reach out to me with the the biggest of concerns which i, I and i totally get well founded because you never want to trust anything and you always want to be on guard in this space but let me ease those concerns a little bit with this explanation here um, this is this is my wallet here. Um, it looks like I got some summer. Ooh, forty-seven thousand. Looks like I got, and this is not edited, by the way. This is like clean, straight through, by the way. So it looks like I got bulg, pleb, gm, pleb, noon. pleb yeah. is awesome. Pleb. Uh, I got some popo. <laughs> some popo. I got some mfer, and if I click on this one, this one's interesting. Let me click on that one. It says claim. So what do I 
hold on a second. If I click on it, uh, oh, I, pro I probably need to go into here. So th this is a claim thing here. So let's go here, here. If I look at the transaction, oh my gosh, they sent me a ton of MFers. Dude, and it looks you're like rich. Oh, so if I go to mferbase.com, I can claim something. Okay, so that's cool too. So that's probably one I bought. Um, this is Golden Dog. Anyway, so the, the gist here, literally, this is the last five hours, seven hours, eight hours, one day, one day. This is the last seven days. That's it. And I have over 30 coins that I did not buy, people. Okay, so these all got airdropped to my wallet. Do I need to be concerned about this wallet? No, not at all. As long as I don't interact with these coins in any way, shape, or form, this wallet's fine. Um, a lot of people are like, well, how do I stop them from, from coming? You can't stop them from coming. This is like junk mail, right? So you get junk mail. You can't stop people from sending you junk mail. You just don't open the mail. You just throw it in the garbage. Just in this say case, no. Just say you, no. Yeah. In this case, you just leave them in here. Look how many coins are dropped to this wallet, okay? This is absurd. Like, this is absolutely absurd. How many things are dropped to this wallet? Just don't even click on them, people. And don't don't even click on it. The, don't even don't and, even go down that path of oh, the universe gave me free stuff. No, what the universe did, is, the universe <laughs> gave you Brandon. Brandon's well, telling you stay the truck away from those things. That's true. They did give you Brandon, but mm -hmm. this isn't this isn't an issue that you need to resolve. This is one like oh cool, don't touch it. Okay, the only coins that you know you bought. Those are the only ones you interact with and the only ones that you deal with. But this doesn't mean your wallet's trash because if this were the case, every single wallet on Etherscan, every single wallet you ever owned would be trash because this is inevitable. This is the blockchain. This comes with a pub public ledger. This is just the way it is, okay? Um, airdrops, if there's a legit one, Nick and I will tell you about it. How many have we told them about lately? Right? So that's how many airdrops we've gotten. And I promise you, you can try to prove me wrong on all the Singularity DAO ones. They're not real. <laughs> so, um, the and, even, thing, and even the real ones from Singularity DAO are not even real. Yeah. <laughs> the, the funny thing in here is everybody's like, base, 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 base. Look at the transactions on base. They're, they're like skyrocketing. And I'm like, this is base. This is on base right here. This is all my base drops. This is in the last seven days. No wonder they're skyrocketing. I don't yeah. think real people are using base. I think it's all like but these. This is the drops. same thing. This is the same thing as Solana. Exactly. And then go, look at look exactly. at all this amazing activity. Like no, exactly. man, that's not what you're seeing. What you're seeing is not what's happening. Um, real quick, how do you track the extra? How do we? How do we track if you give us the extra year? Well, on DPC, you have an expiration date. Yeah, on the uh, on digital uh, investor. Yeah, well, both both yeah. of them. Yeah. Yep. It'll show like it'll show that you're uh, now an annual member instead of um, a monthly member. It shows like at the top of your dashboard, so it'll switch over to that. And then does it have a does it have an expire date? I think like it does have an expire date in your account settings. So you go to your account, it shows you when your your next things due, which will be the expiration date. So. And then uh, James said, "So where would uh, where should I get a wallet to hold my NFTs? Well, you, you already have it, buddy. MetaMask." You, you already, you have it. You, oh you boy. Just, yeah, you already have it. So there you go. Yeah, MetaMask. You, that's where it is attached to your Ethereum wallet address. Now, one way you could go look at it is you could go to uh, OpenSea and it would be there. That would be one path. Sometimes for some people it will show up in the, you know, because MetaMask is trying to be more understanding of NFTs and what you have in your wallet. Some of my stuff so shows up, some of my stuff doesn't. Through MetaMask, yeah. like directly through yeah. MetaMask. Yeah. My Beeple, oddly enough, my Beeple shows up. Oh, cool. Yeah. Beeple. Uh, go ahead. What? The question. Can I, can I keep the NFTs in Node Market? You can't. Uh... There you go. No, 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 I'm not dealing with this. Nope. I am not dealing with this today. I, have done I said I wasn't going to use profanity anymore, Brandon, and you're forcing me. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get off this question. <laughs> Can I delete junk mail? No, you cannot delete these coins in your wallet. No. Um, <laughs> Don't just, it, it's just, it's just, 
nothing. Just just forget about it. Like see past it. Like when your children are screaming, <laughs> after oh. a while you just dial it down where you can't even hear that frequency. It's like that. It's like they Can don't use, exist. This is a good question, actually. This is funny. So I've had, I actually have had this question asked multiple times. Can can we just go to a different network and claim our rewards? Because then it'll be cheaper. So can we use base network on Singularity DAO, Unbonded Vault to harvest transactions? So this is like asking, can you go swipe can your I, credit hey, card? Brandon, Brandon, at Brandon, can I just use Spanish for English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I just use Spanish? <laughs> Will Spanish do? Yeah. Hey, listen. I want to. I want to get my. Um, I want to get my dividend from Chase Bank. So I want it paid oh in heart. Zimbabwean dollars. I'm getting more questions that are blowing my mind right here. <laughs> this chat's like killing me right now today. Okay, you guys are being hilarious. I don't know if you're trying to like. They done really woke trigger up. Me today. A, they drank a cup of stupid. You guys are. You guys are trying to trigger me today. I can tell already. So. Um, so first off, no, uh, the answer is straight up. No, that'd be like going to Walmart, swiping your credit card, then running over to target and be like, Hey, can I get my stuff now? It just doesn't they're, work that they're, way. They're, they're different, different networks. They're just completely different networks. So that's not possible. Um, real quick. Yes. D bank. D bank is pretty cool. I think we should do a video on D bank, Brandon, at some point, just like, it, it's, huh? it's pronounced the bank. The bank. The bank. <laughs> anyway, it's a cool, it is a cool little way to look at your wallet. And you can look at multiple wallets. You'd have to go from one wallet to the next, but it's a cool way to look at the state of your wallet and what you have in there. And it's almost always accurate. Uh, it had a little bit of trouble. Remember Brandon in the beginning, it had a little bit of trouble aggregating data from some of those um, yield farming facilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But they may have worked that out. Do I have any opinions on Charlie Shrim? Um, uh, I didn't talk much about him. I mean, he was one of the early Bitcoin dudes. He did get in trouble for pulling some shenanigans. Um, but he seems like an okay, he, he's simple. Like when you listen to Charlie speak, you know that you're not listening to a Harvard PhD. Let's just say that. Like, he sounds like a good solid 10th grader, right? A, a good solid might make it through high schooler. Um, Salt of, salt of the earth kind of fella, but not like he's not going to be solving some huge quandary in particle physics, making humanity better. All right. Uh, Brandon, what else do you got? I think we've explained this multiple times. Wait, this one? Yeah, but we got to okay. understand this. So, well, listen, uh, do you want to do it or you want me to? Hey, as long as you don't cuss. I can't. You go ahead. I'll do it. Okay, okay. so <laughs> the NFTs are on your MetaMask. They're not on OpenSea. This is like, so if you open up your bank account, right? On Let's just say you're using your Samsung device because nobody buys an iPhone anymore because they're garbage. Uh. But you open up your Samsung device and you look at your bank account, right? And you see you have $14 in checking and $6 in saving. Does that mean the money's on your phone? Is the money on your phone or is it still in your bank account? Brandon, you want me to ball this up? Yeah, if it's an iPhone, ball it up and throw it no, away. I'm right? going to ball this up into a fist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm about to punch the heaven out of somebody. Come That's on, right. people. So, so all your stuff is always in MetaMask or in your wallet on the blockchain. It's not even in MetaMask. MetaMask is also like a phone. It's like a device that views your NFTs, which are on the blockchain. OpenSea is like another phone. It's like a crappy iPhone from 1772, actually, because OpenSea sucks. And it views your NFTs that are on the blockchain. Everything's on the blockchain. Always, always. Easy, easy, peasy, peasy. Oh, man. It is a... It it's is a, raining, it is, man. It is a, a heck of a Wednesday, I'd say. I like this. Um, this is good because it gets your minds... To like remember like the simple things though it's kind of nice so it's good okay should we tackle one more and uh let's see okay one question each time please not 17 but mario asks <laughs> asks is, Wait, is, is crypto guaranteed to win win when you invest in it yes yeah um, <laughs> yes anything you invest in will win a hundred percent of the time mostly half the time 50 percent of the time it works every time all right are you supposed to hold all through the cycle and sell when your trusted YouTuber tells you? Uh, I get it. I get what you're doing there, buddy. 
Uh -oh. And, uh -oh. But this is, but this is kind of true. Like it's hard to, I was at a dinner last night with a bunch of music people, many of them that many of you would know their names. And it was a birthday party for a friend of mine who, a uh, uh, matter of fact, uh, Henley, um, Eric's brother. Uh, you met Henley, didn't you? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's an agent. He's a music agent for some some pretty big names. I, yeah, I know who it is. Yeah. So that's Eric's brother. And so we were at his birthday party and it was he and another guy who's a producer and all the, anyway, there's a lot of big names there. And when they started to get into past the precipice of talking about investment stuff, then I'm like, uh, let's talk about this broccolini. Let's talk because once you go down that path, it, it starts to become like, Hey, what's going to go up? Hey, just tell me what's going to go up. What's going to go. Up? And, and that's really what people want to know. Hey, what's going to go up? People have a hard time dealing with this market, especially because it's so incredibly volatile. So even though if you step back, if you were to trade once a year, pretty much number goes up, but, but very few people have the the uh emotional dexterity and control to get your hands off you you all everybody wants to be meddling i gotta do i gotta be doing something the doing something is the research that's what most people fail to get the research is the doing stuff you want to meddle go meddle in research go spend your time in research read things listen to things do whatever um the the meddling the toiling in uh, investing is not actually touching buttons, making trades, all of that is crap for losers. It just is. Um, look at the wealthiest people throughout history. They bought in the path of progress and then they sat there until they got paid for it handsomely. I mean, it's just so much easier. Buy in the path of progress. That's what we're trying to do. That's why the research is so important and that's why your, your mindset is so important. And having a game theory mindset, understanding your cognitive biases, and understanding how the gears of the financial system turn so that you can front run group think and you can buy in the path of progress. And when everybody shows up with uh, when everybody shows up for the new thing, you're already like, here, here you go, here, take mine, take mine. I'm out. You can be really good, you can be lucky, you can be a criminal, or you can just be first. First is easiest, but it takes a lot of research. All right. Um, all right, Brandon, anything before we go behind the wall? No, I think we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, would you listen to your cab driver? That's funny. Um, what happens to tokens for sale on node market if they don't sell and the time period expires? Nothing. They're not. So listen, the tokens are not on node market. Understand this. You basically just wrote on a card. Hey, who wants my tokens? Hit me up. You just put a little a little note card out there, and someone else saw your note card. They're like, "Oh, I'll take that," and then they just do a wallet to wallet transfer with you. That's how it works on Node Market. There's not, there's no tokens on Node Market. Does that make sense? There's no custody. At no time are is the stuff there. When the time period expires, it just means that that offer has expired. Your little note card, a janitor came and took it and threw it in the trash. And you can read list the tokens at a different price or at any time in that time period, you can just cancel that offer. So that is that any, is there any other technical stuff there, Brandon? Um, no, that, you know, you explained it. That's it. You, yeah. Nothing happens. It, it just expires. That's it. It's like putting a listing on eBay, right? Yep. Yeah. It's just an offer. Okay. Um, broccoli rabe currency units, but <laughs> Yeah, broccolini token. That's our new one. Broccolini token, Brandon. Come on, let's 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 launch. Next week, 170 trillion. Um, yeah, min swap. Well, this is. I'll tell you what that is. Um, oh, on that interview, I'm just going to be given a list of questions. They are um, being very careful not to give me any ammunition. I was going to go into the whole thing, and I was going to ask Ben if he understood what astroturfing was. Um, mm. Do you, you know what astroturfing is, Brandon? I mean, I know no. you know what astroturf is, but you know what the term is? No. What? So, no. It's kind of funny because a lot of people don't. Um, what's a what's a way to explain this uh, that doesn't sound quite so dickish? 
um, the term astroturfing is like in a broader context. Uh, it's the practice of making or or masking the sponsors of a message or organization to make it appear as though it originated from some grassroots thing. So, for instance, let's say you put forward a proposal. I don't know. I'm just going to make one up to merge three tokens. Just any three. You could pick any three, but we'll just say for the sake of this discussion and some AI tokens. Let's just say you came up with that at those companies. This again, just throwing one out there. Just a crazy idea. This would never happen in real life because we're surrounded by good individuals that have our best interests at heart. But then what you do is um, you make it seem like the community wants it, and then you um, create a a vote so 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 that democracy is employed. Astroturfing involves when uh, that that entity that created the idea is influencing the outcome of the vote by swaying the vote through either internal decisions, discussions, manipulation, foundation wallets, you know, what have you. Again, uh, this is just a hypothetical because this could never actually happen because none of us in the crypto space would allow this to happen, right? We're not stupid. So anyway, this organization or entity or CEO or whatever would create the illusion of a unanimous or supermajority support in line with the company's desires rather than reflecting the, the, gen, the genuine votes of the people. Does that make sense? So a company is using its resources and the to, to which is their internal votes to shape the outcome in its favor, uh, regardless of the true sentiment of the broader decentralized community. That, my friends, is astroturfing. Brandon? Do you know what astroturfing is? I do now. Thanks for the explanation. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. You cleared it up for me. This message brought to you by ASI. This is All right. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, we got to do it. We got to go behind the wall. Last, wait, last thing, wait, just because wait. I got to, I got to help people help people. Okay. Um, this is good because, um, to educate people on kind of how to look up and, and see your orders. Sometimes if you don't finish the order, it doesn't go through. So like on these types of orders, you can easily see if an order goes through by checking Etherscan. This is cool because every single order that you do is on Etherscan and we've labeled our wallets really cleanly. So you can see that too. So anytime you do like a node wallet uh, purchase, you can see uh, any of the investor vault orders by checking the wallet. So you'll go through here. This is your Etherscan. This is actually yours, Jane. So I, I, I pulled up your wallet and you can see here's here's the last order that you made. It was 163 days ago. So this was happened to be November. And then you can keep going through here. It highlights it and everything. So you made that two node purchase and then you keep going through here. Uh, next page. Nope, 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 no. Nope. Oh, there's another two orders. One, two. So and then I went through here and you can't find any other orders you're claiming. And this is just to help you out. So you're claiming you made five orders, but I only see three, which is what I had down as three. So you can kind of go through there and check against your orders, what actually went through. I mean, if you see something different on Etherscan, let me know, but I'm pretty thorough with all these back checking and stuff. Anyway. And Brandon, um, also tell people you can go to, um, tr uh, you can look at token transfer specifically, and sometimes that'll also help you because you can just see, hey, when did I push stuff out of my wallet? Yeah, this is, yeah, this is, I mean, this is it. I mean, you can see everything, which is really cool. You can I see all always, the tokens. I always go to token transfers first. And I just yeah. get an idea of like, okay, what did I push out? Yeah, this is always, this is, so anything you do on transactions wise, this is if you send ETH. So even if you have like a gas fee, this will show up here. Um, this person doesn't deal in a lot of ETH, for example, but they do do a lot of other transfers. So if you do hypercycle, it's going to show up here. USDC, anything else will show up here. And it's cool when you highlight something. I don't know why everything goes through a MEV bot on your account, by the way. But anyway, so you go through here and you can check all your transfers. It's really cool. So anyway, go through that bad boy. Hypercycle V2 NFT. Oh, NFT. oh, no, no, no. <laughs> go ahead. Hold on. Uh, yeah, don't check, click on anything. People are sending out scan. So money came out of MetaMask. Okay, so Jane, this is what I'm saying. Uh, no, it didn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, I'm just using this as an example. Um, if you can go show me where it came out and to our wallet, then you can, but this is every transaction in your account ever. 
Like I have every single transaction. It's public blockchain, so you can go through here and show me. I could unless, be wrong, but maybe you sent us money from from a from a from a, oh. a mix a mixer or <laughs> or, or tornado. Well, even no, because even that it would show our two wallet. You no, know what I'm saying? It would show us, but but yeah, it wouldn't be in this wallet. Like if she used a mixer, the thing is, we would see it, and it would yeah. show here sending to the mixer. That's the whole thing. Oh, and this is just a little sidebar. For those of you that think you're you're going to use a mixer to obscure transactions, no, you're not. Because if the origination wallet goes to a mixer and tokens spit out the other side, they don't have to prove – they don't have to find the body. They can just prove that you, you're you on video murdering grandma. They're like, well, where's the body? Who cares where the body is? There's video. So that's – that is – it. these mixers only work if you have an obscure, unused wallet that's mm. been – either dormant forever or created from a mixer like you funded it from money from a mixer but guess what you put money into a mixer to get it out of the mixer right whether you're doing ring signatures or anything like whatever the whatever the way you're obscuring you're not going to get away with it ai is very smart it's very smart and they uh, will map the entire ecosystem of transactions matter of fact my guess is within a year or two You'll be able to ask MetaMask a question about any transaction that's ever occurred ever, and it will serve it to trace you. It. It'll trace it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. This, this is uh, good, Jane. Um, I have the order numbers too, but the order generates when you start a shopping cart. And if you don't complete the purchase in MetaMask, meaning the USDT doesn't leave your wallet, it doesn't finalize the order. So I have the order numbers and the initial order numbers on your case specifically and everybody's like I, I check this is all I do all well not all day long but I do this a lot um if the money doesn't leave your wallet then it doesn't finalize the order so we should be able to check on ether scan that's my final check is on ether scan then I know um just double check for me no big deal but anyway okay let's do this let's let's go um behind, yeah, no! we got to go behind the wall it's time um, it's time to learn it is time to learn I like learning a lot of people don't so much like learning but i do like it so off we go we're going behind the proverbial wall now to continue the broadcast privately for the digital investors and digital private clients if you'd like to join us simply go to nickblacknext.com and subscribe to one of our plans and immediately take advantage of our library of tools tactics and information it's all designed to help you learn grow and manage your portfolio like a pro join us now going slow how about that bitcoin huh boy it's a dang roller coaster. People getting their nuts is kicked. I mean, bad. People keep getting hoovered up on both sides like jackasses. 